Welcome to today's broadcast. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry, and I'm talking today about devil defeating D's. We already covered in two other lessons, devil defeating D's part one, devil defeating D's part two. On the first thing you've got to do is you've got to decide. You have to decide to be a victor, not a victim. You got to decide to have life more abundantly, not just a mediocre so-so life. God said that he sets before the children of Israel life and death, blessing and cursing, and then encourages them to choose life. And so I don't know about you, but I want life more abundantly. I want a long, healthy, happy life. And so I make God choices every day. And so principle number one was you have to make the decision to walk with God stronger than you ever have before. Number two is you have to decree something. Make a decree. The Bible says that thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto, unto thee. In Job 22, verse 28, a decree is an official order given to change something. Jesus was saying in Mark chapter 11, as he cursed the fig tree and the disciples questioned him about it a day or two later, and so Jesus turned and said, have faith in God. In the margin of a lot of Bibles, it says, have the faith of God. And then Jesus told us how to do it. He said that whosoever shall say, and so that word say here means decree, unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith or says shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he says or whatsoever he decrees, Mark 11, verse 22 and 23. Now, I want you to notice that you have to make three decrees for every one belief, because in that passage of Scripture, Jesus said, believe in your heart one time, but he talked about saying something, decreeing something, declaring something with your mouth three times. That's kind of interesting to me. The reason for this is what you say continually is what you're going to believe. Okay, so other than talking to God, the most important conversation you ever have in your life is the conversation you have with yourself. And so always tell yourself that, that you're loved by God, you're loved by others, that you're capable, that you're uh, uh, wonderfully and fearfully made. Tell yourself good things about yourself and improve your self-image because your, th your self-image is really the thermostat for your life, how much happiness, how much wealth, how much good relationships you can have, how many good relationships. All right, Hebrews 11.3 tells us that by the faithing action of God, the worlds were framed, the universe came into being by the word of God. God spoke words and planets and solar systems and star systems came into being. That's pretty amazing. He spoke it, right? And you see that a lot in Genesis 1. I don't remember how many times, and God said, and God said, and God said. But he got what he wanted by saying what he wanted, okay? So the worlds were framed by the word of God. Your world is going to be framed by your words, by your decrees. In Romans 4, 17, the Bible states that God and Abraham and others uh, receive from God by calling those things that be not as though they were. They spoke into existence what they wanted, even in the face of contrary circumstances. You have to do the same thing, praise God. When God wants something to change, he makes a decree. You have to do the same thing. You should read uh, 1 Samuel 17, verse 32 through 51. See all the negative things that Goliath told David. And David basically said, I'm rubber and you're glue. What you just said bounces off of me and sticks on you. And he predicted the giant's future with words of faith. And so predict your future, predict a good future, a blessed future, a happy future with mighty words based on God's word. Have a great, great day. I love you. God bless you. I'm Pastor Glenn Curry.